Hey there, I'm Courtney with RCK Living and a full-time homemaker. Here you will find the projects and routines that I get myself into and hopefully give you some ideas to inspire you. Today we are going to talk about my laundry routine and how I got to the point where I am now. So laundry used to be, I'm pretty sure no one likes doing laundry, um, and I used to be the kind of person that would just pile everything up until I had no other option but to do laundry. And then once I did do the laundry, I would just take everything, throw it onto my bed, my couch, whatever was a flat surface that I could put laundry on, and it would just stay there until we wore it and would go right back into my little Mount Everest of laundry. So I've had this laundry routine going since about March of 2021. We're in January of 2022, so about 10 months or so. Um, and my laundry routine is one of the things in my life that I feel like I have set in stone, dialed in perfectly. And that is one of the few things that I feel like I have set in stone at this point. But it's a process, um, you know, you've heard the saying, to eat an elephant, you gotta take a bite at a time. So that's what I do with my life. Now I'm, not saying, now I'm not saying in any way, shape, or form that my household is perfect. I do not have a spotless house. Some parts of it's a complete disaster. So, but my laundry routine is something that I'm happy with and feel like is a solid foundation for the rest of my day and the rest of my house. So I'm going to walk you through my daily laundry routine and then um, kind of go in depth with it. And then after that, I'll go through what you need to do or what, at least what I did to get to that point and be able to do it yourself without it being so intimidating. So my laundry routine goes like this. Every day I will pick up the laundry that is dirty. So each night after we've changed into our pajamas, I'll go through um, my bedroom and then our daughter's bedroom, pick up the dirty laundry, and then that'll go straight into the washing machine. That includes um, bath towels, kitchen towels, you know, anything that might need to be cleaned. Typically, um, I won't run the washing machine at night. Um, I'll let those clothes sit in the washer overnight. And then the next morning, after we change out of our pajamas and back into regular clothes, I'll get the pajamas, have our daughter bring the pajamas into the washing machine and put everything in the washing machine. At that point, the washer is pretty much full and I'll be able to do a load of laundry. So once that's done, um, you know, the washer's done its thing, clean the clothes, it goes into the dryer. Um, straight into the dryer, the dryer's already been empty because of my routine. And after I dry the clothes, this is what happens. This is the part that gets people. Do not take all of the clothes out of the washing machine, or out of the dryer, and as a whole pile, and put it on your bed. Don't put it on your sofa. Don't put it on a countertop. Take each piece, hang it up, and put it away. Um, this, I mean, our house was built in 1904, so we don't have a, a laundry room. So I don't have a flat surface that's a, that would be a good place to put it. Um, so what I have to do is take one piece out at a time, um, you know, unless I have a few like things that I could just take all at once, but I take one shirt at a time, go hang it up, um, come back with a new hanger, hang another shirt up, um, and that's how the process goes. This does sound like a little bit time consuming, but I don't have really much of another option right now. I mean, this is my laundry space. Right over here is my bedroom, right here is my bathroom, and we're standing in my kitchen. So I can't just have laundry all over the place when I have food on my countertops that I'm, you know, cooking, baking, whatever. So the major perk, one of the major perks about um, 
you know, not having this counter space and just having to go straight from the dryer to the homes is that I, if I have to stop in the middle of folding laundry, which doesn't often happen because laundry only takes me about 10 minutes or so to fold, um, I can just close up the dryer and move on. I don't have a mess of laundry on a countertop, on my sofa, on my bed, whatever. Um, so that is an awesome perk and then I can just come back and keep going like I did. The reason why the piled up laundry doesn't work is because it's more like a set it and forget it kind of thing. You set it on your flat surface and then you forget about it until you all of a sudden need laundry and just start sifting through your pile. Then you have wrinkled clothes and you don't know where stuff is. Um, you have socks that don't match and it just goes downhill from there. So once my dryer is empty, the only thing that I have in it is three dryer balls, um, the wool dryer balls, and then any little straggler socks that I will leave in there for, um, you know, probably a couple weeks or so just to make sure that we don't have any flyaway socks that, um, you know, we're hidden deep in the depths of under a bed or something. Then once those socks have been in there long enough and I have accepted the fact that we lost another sock to the land of misfit socks, they just get um, thrown away so then I don't have that extra clutter and you know a basket of single socks that don't have a partner. So after my dryer's done um, and everything's put away, I'm done with laundry for the day. The only exceptions that I have to my laundry routine about doing more than one load or you know doing a single load of laundry a day is that um, my next exception is going on a vacation or a trip or whatever we're doing. We go on hunting trips, weekend trips, things like that, and we'll obviously have more laundry than just the day. So what I do is I start with the clothes that we wore the previous day if our, laundry, if our bags are still sitting here or something. Um, so I start with the most recent clothes that are just hanging out in the house so I don't get backed up on that. And then I will add into the um, vacation clothes. And it'll probably take me, you know, two, maybe three loads to get that all caught up, but I won't let myself get behind on my laundry that is done in the house. My final exception will be when we buy new clothes. Um, as you can tell in my routine, I don't do any sorting, which, you know, you can make a decision in your home how to do that, but I don't sort laundry. I've never had a problem with, you know, colors bleeding or anything, but when we do buy, um, you know, a new pair of jeans or a dark colored shirt or something like that, I'll wash that with light clothes so then I can not have to worry about bleeding colors and you know blue white shirts because I put a new pair of jeans in there. So those are my three main exceptions and now that we've gone over my laundry routine I will um, go over what I did to get to this point um, in hopes that it helps you out. So I'm going to look at my notes that I have written down for this part since I did start this process about 10 months ago at this point. So I don't want to you know, forget anything and I had to write everything down just to make sure I went through the process in my head on how I did get to this point. So the first thing is to get rid of that mountain of laundry that I'm sure we've all been at and have had and have been overwhelmed and stressed about and you just feel like you're never going to get to that point and it's just, it's a rough time, okay? <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is get rid of that mountain of laundry. Um, the way that I started this process was that I put all of my dirty clothes in our laundry baskets or hampers or whatever we had and put them by the laundry. Um, once I did that, then, um, you know, just start doing laundry um, and then follow the rule of not taking a pile of dried clothes and putting it on a flat surface, just fold it right out of the dryer and get rid of it. <clears throat> it's gonna go right into its home and you'll be done with it. Um, keep doing that for, you know, however, I mean, if you're doing one load of laundry a day to keep up, then start doing two loads to get ahead. And then the next day, if it takes multiple days, um, you want to start with, you want to start that second day with the clothes that you wore the day before. So you're not adding to the pile, you're uh, skimming it off the top and um, continuing your process. And eventually you'll get to the point where you don't have a big pile of laundry. Everything will be put away and you'll be golden. So like I was saying with doing as much laundry as you can, if you only have time to fold 15 minutes worth of laundry, set a timer, fold for 15 minutes and then carry on with your day. 
fold for another five, 10 minutes, whatever you need to do to get to that point of having all of your laundry done. Here's the fun part. Once you are caught up with all of your laundry, get rid of your laundry baskets. This is the scariest part of the whole process. So what I would recommend is to, um, instead of just you know completely donating them or throwing them away or whatever you're gonna do with them, um, put them in a you know your storage shed or um, you know your basement somewhere that you're not gonna be tempted to just keep throwing stuff in because containers are gonna contain. Um, so start with that. Go through all of your bedrooms, um, bathrooms, wherever you keep your laundry baskets, and get rid of them. This will keep you accountable for having to put your laundry in your washing machine. So your washing machine is gonna be your new laundry basket. So I think the process of doing a single load of laundry a day and using the washing machine as your um, laundry basket would work up to a family of four. Um, maybe family of five and up, maybe just keep one laundry basket and put it right next to the washing machine so then um, you can probably do, you know, one load or one and two loads a day um, and you're still containing that laundry where it is and you're still holding yourself accountable but I think you should be able to um, do the get all of your laundry done from the day before in that single day so I can't necessarily speak for larger families but I do know what works for our family and I'm confident it would work for um, you know smaller families and um, Hopefully, larger families can kind of tweak it in their own way and you know figure out what's going to work for themselves. So the final part is probably the more difficult part. This is obviously the time-consuming part: is creating that habit and turning it into a routine. So what I did was set a reminder on my phone in the morning and at night to do some kind of laundry activity, whether it be you know just picking up the clothes around the house or folding laundry or whatever it was to make me understand that make me understand in my head that at that point of the day I have to do some kind of laundry activity no matter you know if it took a couple seconds a couple minutes whatever it was then once I was able to turn it into a routine it became ingrained in my head and now I wake up get changed and throw all the laundry in the washing machine and the same thing happens right before I go to bed I just automatically um, pick everything up and throw everything in the washing machine and you know if I don't do that then something feels wrong and uh, it's it's the laundry is typically what it is and then I get it done and I can go to bed happy and not stressed out about it. so a lot of what I talked about seems like it would you know would be self-explanatory but um, and stuff that the stuff that is most obvious doesn't sink in until it's told to you and then you know all of a sudden it's like oh my gosh really like that's what I've been missing this whole time and it's so simple. But um, I hope that I helped you out on figuring out your laundry routine. Once, you know, once I was able to get it taken care of, then it feels like I have so much more control over my life and our house is so much less cluttered with clothing and I don't have to stress about it and it's just done. So I really appreciate you sticking around listening to what I had to say. And if, you know, this kind of stuff interests you, um, you know, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, give this a like, and um, we'll see you the next time. Thanks, guys.